Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Edge of the Woods. It's a redo, 5x7. Very, um, actually, not so very recent. I mean, I probably did this back in September. I just kind of been lagging on these redos, but. Uh, because I had so many small originals in September, October, and November, I really didn't get a chance to um, to uh, to get onto these redos. But interesting thing about this edge of the woods is that it, it was redone once before, and now it's getting redone again. And who knows? Maybe it'll go to box. Not just keep redoing it every three or four years. <laughs> That would be interesting. Yeah, we can always hope that they uh, they'll get the X-ray out and uh, and they'll find all the layers, you know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Put up a video yesterday, nice one too. Uh, late afternoon trail, and that's when I was sort of holding off for a weekend, but a little extra time. It's the holidays, so I thought I would um, <clears throat> get one on the can. Get one in the can so to speak. Now, uh, I'll be probably rolling out a lot of these redos over the next few weeks, uh, mostly because, like I said, I haven't done, I mean, it is an original painting of mine, but by original I mean beginning, start, finish, you know. And uh, one of the nice things about the minis is that they went pretty quick, but uh, I've been sort of focused uh, on, on marketing and doing other things, so, um, yeah, but I, not because I want to. I mean, basically, if I had my way, I'd just do paintings all the time, every day, and then the, somebody would come take them away and then, you know, bring me a bag of money. That would be great. Hey, if if you want to be my patron and do that, let me know. You can take all my paintings away and give me a bag of money. I would be thrilled with that. I might want to hang on to a couple of them, but uh, not too many. I have... I have quite a few already, so. Um, well, you know, this time of year is kind of looking back, right? We all look back, you know. And I have to say, this has been a pretty good year for me. Um, there's been some struggles, mostly in regards to marketing stuff, but let's face it, I've been neglecting that for, you know, forever. So I'm finally getting around to dealing with it. And, uh, Hopefully, uh, you know, keep good thought for me that, um, you know, we'll find a, we'll find a way to, uh, to get better results with that part of my career. As far as the mm, satisfaction of my artistic creation, I have to say, I feel like I'm really painting better than I ever have and, uh, that I've, I've jumped ahead majorly since where I was when the year began, which was in a pretty good spot. I felt that uh, towards the end of last year and um, the very end of last year, I was doing some really good work and uh, that was strong. Um, and uh, I haven't done as many stinkers this year and that's really, I'm thankful for that. I mean, having bad paintings around, doing bad paintings too, especially when you're proficient and know what you're doing or you think you know what you're doing it's it's kind of hard um, yeah so I'm very thankful for that thankful for less bad paintings thankful for more good paintings and uh, you know one of the things behind these redos is just yeah clearing out some of that dead wood I give I, I do leave some things alone um, don't mess with them just so that they're you know of their time uh, but uh, I have a pretty good box of these uh, redos, and I just did a few on um, Saturday, and uh, probably like three or so. Usually on the redos, I'm, I, I'm good for three a day, you know, if that's what I'm painting that day. And um, I really love them, and some of them I've just gone nuts with and done some very, very different things. and. Uh, you know, stay tuned, I'll be unfolding some of those. Um, this one here is really just kind of mm, amplifying what's there already. You can see I sort of faded those um, hills in the back and I've injected a bit more color in the sky and 
modify that clump of trees on our left on our right side um, and am I happy I am happy with this painting I'm not uh, to me it's like a um, this is the kind of painting I paint if I don't have any reference <laughs> you know it reminds me a lot of ways of Dennis Sheehan in that it's got that little pond right up the middle you know or pond or swale or whatever you want to call it a little stream and that's something uh, he can't keep out of his paintings and God love him you know it works well for him but I uh, I think I probably when I first revised this, I think the way I revised it, I was thinking of Dennis. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'll just throw a little pond there. And um, interestingly, I sold one on Saturday that was just some trees. No, no interest in the foreground at all. It was just plain bar of grass. Sometimes I like to do that. Especially if there's not a lot of room down there. I don't really, always like to cram in some water or a road or a path. And uh, also, I just do it just not to be always doing it. You know, it's very easy to fall into those sorts of things. But um, then they're a bit formulaic. And I actually feel this painting is uh, its formulaic, but it's good too. So don't, uh, I'm not knocking it. Um, you know, there are uh, formulas, there's formula compositions like. Uh, big clump of trees on one side, little clump of trees on the other, some water in the middle, hills in the distance, you know, colorful sky, you could go on and on and on. Um, I will say though, because this painting is so far divested from any kind of actual physical reference that I kind of do have a love for it in that way. It's almost purely a product of imagination, so that's always something interesting. And uh, one of the things I've been doing with all these redos is resisting the urge to uh, g crack out the original reference. So what I do is I, a lot of times, like not so much on this one, but a lot of recent ones, I just pound them with a bunch of glaze and then try and make it work. That's one of my strategies. Anyway, hey, getting close to the end here. This will probably be going up on Christmas for the rest of you, or maybe the day before. Anyway, have a happy holiday. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. Uh, just be happy if you're not even celebrating the holidays, that's good. And um, I'll see you again real soon. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.